Oh man, here we go. Finally, finally, man. We we here in LA. Welcome home, man. How you What's doing? Up? What's up with the name, bro? Brother, talk your shit, bro. Free play, Southeast. Oh, my mama freaking Southeast, though. Feel me? They trying to label us as a gang. It's just strictly family, though. On oh, my, oh, my, oh, my mama, bro. I'll let you, though, brother. Call me after this interview, though, brother. Yeah, mind you. All right, brother. Come on. All right, bro. Like I said, man, finally we here, man. We in L.A. We got EBK J-Bo in the building, man. Finally, after all these years uh, 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 of watching each other, man. he's down, he's, He finally sat down on the couch. And uh, welcome home, too, man. Thank you. How long you been here for? Shit. How long has it been? Like six days, five days? It ain't been that long, bro. It's been like six, five days. Okay. And, I mean, how long... How long was you sitting for? Uh, shit, I was down for like six months. Okay. Yeah. And I, I mean, what was that like? You know, you having a name. What was that experience like this last time? Shit, it's it's the same every time. You know, you are gonna go in there, you are gonna run some fades, and then eventually you are gonna get nigga to like a pot or somewhere where it's cool. Niggas programming in there. You feel me? Probably catch a few fades, but nothing too serious though. It's it's regular. You chilling in there. So the minute you step in, people notice you? Yeah, for sure. As soon as I come in, you know, I got Southeast EBK on my neck and shit. So as soon yeah. as I come in, niggas yelling, oh, J-Bo, oh, what's up yeah. with blood? You feel me? I'm what's up with blood. You feel me? I know niggas in there. How many fades you run this time? Uh, uh, uh. Shit, I'm running like, um, I only ran like four this time, four or five. Okay. On my Not too bad for six months. Yeah, nah, not too bad. And I ran I mean, all those. I ran on those when I first had got in too. So, yeah. And, and, and how does this shit start? Does people just they just start running their mouth or? I mean, it's like intake. You feel me? Everybody in the rooms and shit. So, you know, the porter will come and tell you like who in there or something, or you would just get popped out and see a nigga like, okay, we gonna get that in southeast. Yeah. You feel me? Nigga be like, we gonna get that in in the corner, or niggas get that in in the cell and then. That be that. You feel me? They do that thing. You do your thing after that. Yeah. And do you win all these fights, or some? Sometimes you don't get your way. I mean, you feel me? You gonna lose some. You gonna win some in the county. You know, I ain't gonna act like I just whoop every nigga, but I don't lose a lot. Southeast. But you feel me? I don't win every fight though. Nah. You feel me? But that's real. Most niggas sit on yeah. camera and say they eighty and zero. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I ain't gonna sit on camera and act like I'm eighty and zero and shit. You feel me? I met my match a couple times. I met yeah. my match a couple times though, but niggas gonna know though. I'm gonna hit a nigga with something he gonna remember. Real Shout talk. <laughs> so man, I, I've been watching you for a minute, bro. And you know, I tried to get an interview with you like last year, maybe early this year, but it seems like you're always in and out. Yeah. It, I mean, how many times have you been arrested your whole life? Uh, shit, nigga. I ain't been arrested that many times, bro. How many times? Like six times, five times. Six. I went to jail a few times, bro. Like six times, bro. Yeah. Like six but times. But this bro. this right here has been the longest. Nah, I did two years last time. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think, I don't know who I talked to, but I, I don't know. People were saying you were going to be going for a long time. Like Damn. it was years. Yeah, niggas just be talking, bro. Bro, all I got is, if you look at my charges, bro, it's just the same charges hella times. I'm really not even down for nothing that's going to get a nigga hella time. A nigga going to have to go do some time off of that, though. You feel me? I'm just out on bail. Right. You feel and, me? And, and, and if you don't mind, what are these charges? Shit, it's just some gut charges, nigga. It's some, uh, some gay gay ass bitch. Yeah. It's not even nothing too serious, you feel me, that carry hell along. It's just I got priors, so they didn't give me bail. But you feel me, as you can see, I got bail now, you feel me, so. Right. But I'm still fighting, and, my, I'm still fighting my case, though. And these these charges are all coming from Stockton. Yeah. So the police, they know you first name, last name basis. Sure. You a target for the police, ops, everybody. 
Yeah, something like that. You feel me? I feel like everybody being black coming out of Stockton is a target mm -hmm. out there, though. You feel me? Not yeah. just because... You feel me? Obviously, because I'm a rapper and shit, so yeah, but they be on everybody out there, not just me. You feel me? Man, I hear so much stuff about Stockton. I hear it's boring. I hear it's corrupt. Uh, the gang, the, the violence out there is crazy. I mean... You yourself, you're, you're you're doing your thing with the rap shit, putting up millions of views. Why not leave? L.A. has plenty. Of, I mean, California has plenty of of nice cities to go to. Why not leave? I did leave. You just can't keep come, can't stop coming back. I came back a few times. Feel me, but I don't be out there that much, bro. You no know, nigga, just. End up just being out there at the wrong time, went to jail. Mm. I can't even lie to you. Let's start from the beginning, man. Born and raised in Stockton. You know, what was that like growing up? Was it a struggle? Was it cool? It was cool, bro. You feel me? Stockton niggas was playing football and shit when niggas was kids and shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It was 50-50. Niggas had the shit that we need. Niggas wasn't homeless or nothing. Right. You feel me? But everybody go through a different type of struggle. Just like you probably went through a different struggle that I didn't go through. So you feel me? As a kid, I went through my little shit that I went through in my little household. But as far as having a home, I always had a roof over my head. Mom dudes did her thing. You feel me? But niggas just, you feel me? Getting the other shit as niggas get older. Yeah, starting to get. I mean, before shit. before the streets, football was your dream. Nah, I just used to play it because I got a lot of sport niggas that do sports in my family too. So you feel me? My grandpa, uh, my grandpa Richard, he was on it. Me and my uncles and shit. You feel me? His son, he played football. I'm always at my grandma, so it's like it's inevitable. Nigga gotta play football. My mm -hmm. pops used to make me play football. Hell of shit. So. I didn't never like that shit, bro. I was fat and shit. Niggas didn't want to run and do all the extra shit, but I played yeah. though. Yo, how you feel about that too? Why we talking about that? You know, people make jokes about your weight now because you're <laughs> you're bigger than what you were yeah. before. Let's talk about that. Like, does that get to you with people, the comments and things, people talking about your weight? Nah, that shit funny to me, for real. You feel me? I got a good sense of humor. I ain't really tripping, cause you feel me? I'm I'm fat now, but it's a lot of things that got bigger. That's not just that, you feel me? So that shit funny though. When my when my fans be telling me that shit, I interact with them and shit. Like they calling me fat and shit. Like I'm like that shit hella funny. You feel me? Like I'm fat. What is nigga. it? The what is it? The lean? Uh, nah, nigga just was in the county eating. You feel me? Nigga gotta eat. I like being fat though. I salute to all the fat niggas. Shout out to y'all. We rocking Southeast, Nine Gill. I ain't tripping. <laughs> hey, that's good. Cause you know, a lot of people let that affect their mental. But I, I like how you take that. Yeah, nah, I got good sense of humor. They just jokes. It's different when a nigga getting weird, but a nigga just making a few fat jokes. I joke with the homies all day. So I'm not finna be tripping off a nigga like, oh, you fat, jumbo, ooh, I. I'm like, nah, nigga. I just joke right back. Like, nigga, fuck your mama. You feel me? We joking. <laughs> we joking, bro. <laughs> so but, but you always been big, though. You always been big. Nah, I was guy. hella skinny, though. I was big as a kid. I grew up and got uh skinny. Went to the county, got out fat again. I was destined to be fat. My pops fat. I was never supposed to be skinny. Niggas just popping pills, smoking weed. Niggas got skinny. I'm fat again. It is what it is. We here. Mm. Blood. You know. Speaking about your your pops, man, I, I seen yeah. a few documentaries about that whole situation. I think on Swap Stories or something like that. Yeah. Um. And you were you, you were eleven years old at the time. Yeah. Man, sorry about that, bro. Yeah, I'm southeast. I mean, Casualty you you're really you you're really vocal about it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Did that affect? I mean, do you does that affect you today? Do sometimes you just kind of get emotional thinking about it? No, I don't get emotional no more. You feel me? It's a long time ago, bro. I'm 20 now. That's a long time. You feel me? But you feel me? It's a big. It's a big transition. You look at pictures of me at 11. It would pop regular. And look at me now. I'm a thug. I crosses and shit on my face. <laughs> Niggas on my eyebrow. You feel me? 
shit changed, bro. But a nigga went through that morning stage so young. I'm so older, so it's like, you feel me? That shit, it shit don't break me. It just make a nigga, you feel me? Make a nigga stronger. Yeah. But this is stuff that a lot of people know in your city. I mean, I see your dad was yeah, popular. My, pop, my pops was popular. He was that nigga out here. Niggas know. Yeah. Yeah, niggas, niggas, niggas from my city know my pops was a boy. Right. And I see, you know, it gets brought up sometimes where somebody may be your enemy or somebody will bring it up or uh, on IG and people, they they make that, they'll turn that into a joke or yeah. they'll use that as ammo. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, why yeah. I said that. Like, people bringing yeah. that up, throwing that back in your face, man, that was your dad. I mean, I just, that just would come with it. I can't hurt everybody that speaks on my pops, bro. Niggas popping. I got 200,000 followers, so... Of course, niggas gonna say, oh, blank Rory, blank this, Rory this, Rory that. But y'all didn't know that, man. My pops really was knocking shit out. Like, nigga not gonna tell that man nothing. Nigga can't tell me nothing, bro. That's my pops. I'm his son. That man was a dog. You feel me? So fuck, fuck what y'all talking about, bro. That's good. Keep his name lit, bro. Um, I like it when they do that, bro. My pops' name lit, bro. He don't even know these people. He, he's still relevant. Mm. And he ain't even made no music. Right, and this whole tragedy came from was it two teens? They were they were messing with you or some shit? Nah, or? nah, that don't have nothing to do. To, that don't have nothing to do with me. I was only eleven, bro. You feel me? But I don't know nothing about that. You feel me? Because that's that's okay. a case. So you feel me? I don't talk about shit like that. Right. Yeah. My bad. I, I it was. I think it was on a few documentaries about it. Or yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know what happened. You feel me? R. P. Pop Star. You feel me? But nah, I didn't get robbed or nothing ever happened to me, you feel me? I was just young. I was 11. You feel me? Lost my pops and that's that. Right. But you feel me? I don't know. RP, I don't know man. nothing about nothing else. Man. You feel me? RP Road. Uh, do you, after that whole moment, is that when you jump off the porch? Yeah, but around that time, it just started to get a little spicy. Like so. it's just off anger? Not, not off anger, it's just, you feel me, that it was just, it was just regular, you know, thugging niggas didn't, me growing up, niggas was playing football when niggas was kids, but when niggas got to like 12 years old, like niggas was, got into different things, bro, like, everybody I was going to school got into football, I wasn't into that, I, I was living out south, you feel me, I was on a whole different time than everybody was on, so, it was just, inevitable that a nigga was gonna hop off the porch. So I'm not gonna say just cause my pops died, but that had something to do with it for sure though. Hmm. That's why a nigga just moved militant, you feel me? A nigga lost his pops, you feel me? You know how that goes, nigga lost his pops, but nigga gonna be on what, what What introduced you to that lifestyle? Was it hustling, was it stealing, was it? No, I ain't, I ain't hustle. I mean, I stole a few cars like when I was a kid, but. I ain't never really wanted to do no stealing, you feel me? Everybody did they little robbing and running around and breaking into things and shit, you feel me, some kid shit, but nah, I was in, in a little more faster shit. Niggas ain't breaking into no cars or doing none of that. Niggas trying to yeah. break a skull. You were rapping at a young age too, though. Yeah, I was rapping like that, like 12. Like I heard in middle school, I got a singing you know, song. I got a your, singing some song. Of your, my, uh, my pops made me sing a song and shit. Yeah, some of the kids you went to school with, they remember you doing ciphers and all type of stuff in middle school. Yeah, I used to be like beating on the table and shit and rapping and shit, regular shit. Nothing too major though. I know cipher, but nigga just be rapping, having fun, you know. Just freestyling and shit. Yeah, nigga love rap. nigga love music, bro. You feel me, nigga just rapping. Yeah. Do you consider is stocked in the bay? Nah, hell no. Nah. We well, we the valley. Stocked in the Valley, brother. Yeah, hey, we the Valley. Okay. So, I mean, you in the streets. Do you still go to school? Do you drop out? I graduated. Graduated. Yeah, I ain't no dumb nigga. Okay, congrats. Yeah, I graduated, bro. Southeast. Graduated, so after bro. that, you graduate. What's What's next after that? I graduated in juvenile hall, though, bro. You gotta understand. All my prime, like my prime age, I was in jail for it. Like I was out of jail doing a lot of shit. Like niggas know, you feel me? If niggas know, niggas know. I was out there doing my little thing for the little time that I was out 
but I was in and out of juvenile hall for a long time, bro. After my pops died from like 12, I was like like 12 years old to like 14, bro. That's when you feel me the you feel me was doing a rap group, the EBK shit. And right. I was I was in the field, but I went to jail. I caught a case. Like, no, I was 15. So like from 12 years old to 15, I caught a case at 15 and got out when I was 17. Mm. Then I caught a case when I was 17 and got out when I was what, 20, 19? Yeah, I was 19. And I just caught another case. And I'm 20 now. You feel me? And all these wait, so all as a teen, when you went to the uh when you went to juvenile as a teen. What were those cases for? Those were gun cases? I mean, what I was, uh, I went to jail when I was like 13 for a Stolo. When I was 13, I went for like a Stolo like twice back to back. Then I went, uh, for a little weird ass burglary when I was like, how'd you get, how'd you get caught with the burglary? Some weird shit. Niggas, uh, we was on some stupid young shit, bro. Niggas went and did some dumb shit. Like a house, a store? Yeah, a little house, you feel me? Ain't gonna say too much. It was just me, you feel me? I got charged with it too, you feel me? I drove off, got pulled over, fake high speed. Went to juvenile hall, got 60 days. Got 60 days, juvenile hall. Living the fast life for real at a young age. Yeah, I was like 13 or something, or 14. Then after that, at 15, I caught a, a tent on Bloods when oh, I was 15. Man. Caught a tent. So wait, let's go back. When you when you take the cops on a high speed after the bur after the burglary, how'd you get caught? You just end up slowing down, getting pulled over? Hell yeah, I pulled it over. Like, bro, I'm going to jail. Bro, I ain't going to die. We ain't bucket. Hell, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't bucket. They can't really get up out of there. I'm, man, I'm 14 or something. I can't drive. I'm pulling over. Take me to juvenile hall. Fuck mm. it. And then you catch an attempt. Yeah, when I was like 15. I mean, do you think, do you think you're going away for a long time at that, at that point or? Nah, I was 15. They couldn't charge me as an adult. Okay. So how long do you do then? Like 600 days. I don't know how long that is, but that's how long I did, like 600 days. Okay. And at that point, are you taking rap series then? No, not at all. I was fifteen. What makes what makes you start taking rap serious when you got out? Uh, um, I don't really. What you mean by serious? Like when do you like lock in? Like you know, what, I'm gonna take this shit serious. Uh, you, you. I ain't it ain't never been like a day. I just my work ethic just make me produce a lot of music. Like I don't be. I don't set a standard like, oh, I'm gonna work this hard. I just do it. So, and I've been doing this same shit for years. So it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I make a lot of music. Uh, I perfected my craft fake way. So I just made a lot of music. It was never a point where I'm like, oh, I'm finna do this serious. I just was doing that shit. Like, and it just, it start coming and coming. And now I'm here. I mean, but what was that point to where you was like, you know what? I could change my life doing this shit, though. Like, I'm not stopping. Shit, like a month ago type shit. <laughs> a month, a month ago? A month ago, for sure. Like a month ago. I you didn't realize that putting up all these millions of views? You didn't realize that? Hell no, bro. Like, feel me, nigga? My life don't revolve around YouTube and shit. You feel me, nigga? Go through real shit. Just like you go through real shit at home. So nigga famous on the outside, so it's not like, oh, I'm I'm popping, bro. No, I'm I'm regular. I'm with the thugs every day. Like nigga, I'm my mama, regular, son, son. Nigga don't think that I'm really a public figure until I'm in jail and it's like, damn, I'm really a boy. Well, let me ask you this. In the beginning, uh, I don't want to say the beginning, but grinding for this rap shit, how much money do you think you've invested into your your craft? Studio, videos, anything like, did you really put any money behind promo or was it all just putting that not shit at, out there? Not at first. Like when I was with Thizzler, I was just doing shit. Like Thizzler was trying to get me right, but like I was so like in the like 80% in the field and 20% doing music that 
I just was doing my own thing. Like, man, I'm recording here and there and there instead of having them give me like real studio sessions like they would have did. But I'm just doing my own thing because I got my own shit going on. So it could have been way better, but I'm just doing it, shooting here and there. Then I went to jail and went up mm. still, though, from jail. Like, I knew going up. Like, oh, shit, they still fucking with me. Honestly, I didn't think they were still going to be fucking with me because I kept going to jail, but they rocking. I appreciate it. Southeast. So every time you go to jail, your buzz gets bigger, it seems. That's what it seemed like. That's what it seemed like because I've been in jail, bro. Honestly. Do you feel like you the hottest in Cali right now? I wouldn't say that. I'm just, you feel me, doing me, bro. I'm in my own lane, making music for, you feel me, people that have been through some real shit in their life. I ain't here to uh, put no labels on if I'm the top rapper or, or none of that. Because to be honest, I don't feel like I'm no rapper, nigga. I'm just doing this for my family and for my brothers, nigga, and for my son. You feel me? So I wouldn't say I'm the best in Cali. I'm just, I'm J-Bo, you feel me? And niggas know. You feel me? Niggas gonna feel that shit. You feel me? Them, them rapper niggas, they could dictate who the best and shit. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing my thing. We on YouTube, just doing our, you feel me? We chilling. We from 2 on 7th Street. We over here with it. I'm from rappers do that thing. I'm so a month ago, you just started taking it serious. That's, uh, it, now just picture you locking in on it. Yeah, I'm, it, I'm, I'm locking in though, bro. I'm, I'm woke now, bro. You know, a nigga be so having tunnel vision on one thing, it'd be hard to like, hold on, I got some motion going on over here. So it took for me to go to jail this time, really having shit to lose. Like when I was going to jail when I was 17, nigga ain't had shit to lose. Like nigga, I got out last time, nigga got bills. I got a son that need me, you feel me? I got real responsibilities now. So then when a nigga go to jail and all that shit just stop, it's like, damn, hold on, let me take a second to really reevaluate shit and let me think like, hold on, I'm moving hella weird. And my my brother telling me, my brother Dada, shout out my nigga Dada, he telling me like, brother, Niggas gotta start moving weird or niggas gonna crash. And that's what niggas did. But I'm happy I got a chance to, you feel me, reevaluate that shit. You feel me? And move forward. What does your mom say to to you, you know, going back in and out of jail? You have a career. Um, you could possibly make millions. You could change everybody's life. What does your mom say? You know, that's mom. So she ain't gonna never really tell me I'm wrong. So she just rock it out with any situation that I get put in, you feel me? Like what she's supposed to do. And she, you feel me? She, she tell me the right thing to do, obviously, but she know how I am. So and she ain't gonna tell me, baby, you need to stop this and really change and do that. No, she love me for me, you feel me? So she just riding with me and then just have all positive vibes to make sure you feel me and nigga ain't doing no negative shit. Yeah. Man, uh, now now back to Stockton, uh, it's a lot of Hispanics there, well, a lot of Mexicans, a lot yeah. of blacks. Do they get along? You said Mexicans and blacks? Yeah. Uh, shit, I don't even really know what them niggas be getting on in Stockton, you feel me, niggas? I fuck with um, some Hispanic niggas, though. Y'all niggas know who y'all is, you feel me? My blood niggas, but... Uh, I don't really know who niggas be funking with. To be honest, I don't really uh, get into none of that no more. For yeah. me, I don't know nothing about no no street shit. Right. Cause you know, you look it up. Stockton's yeah. one of the most dangerous cities in 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 the nation. Oh, it uh, is. Huh? It it is. Yeah, man. Oh, We're up there with New Orleans, St. Louis, uh, Philly. Oh wow. Baltimore. Stockton's one of them places, man. Well, well, let me ask you this: What's a how how to survive Stockton? What's some do's and don'ts? Don't like do keeping on you. <laughs> I'm simple. If you a thug, but I don't promote no violence though. You feel me? Kids for the kids, stay in school. You feel me? Take care of your kids if you got kids. But I'm just telling you for if you is a gangster. You feel me for your safety. Nigga, the do's and don'ts. Nigga, do keep it on you and don't lie, period. And you're going to live a long, healthy life. Is it like certain cars you shouldn't drive? Is it certain things you shouldn't wear? 
I mean, wear what you want. You feel me? It's different strokes for different folks. I ain't gonna judge a nigga on what he wearing. As long as he wearing that that thing on him, he good. Tint that load up five percent. You good. Move strategic. Pay attention. <laughs> Not that bad. Pay attention on blood. What you say, bro? What about like going going out after dark or different things like that? Go on when you, go on when you please, as long as you don't tip. And no, if you really in that life and you really got shit to worry about, then you know. You got to stand on business at all times and stay cautious, G cautious. But if you ain't really one of them niggas, ain't got nothing to worry about, just keep your pole and move as you move. Stay under. You're going to be good, too. You're going to live a long, healthy life, too. Mm. What's the status with everybody in EBK? You know, because I'm looking, on, I'm looking on YouTube and it's, like I said, different videos, different EBK members coming at different EBK members. Where do you stand at with this whole movement going on right now? I don't really partake in, you feel me, none of the extra shit niggas be got going on. That's why you don't never see me respond to shit. You probably hear me talk my shit in the song about dead nigga this, dead that, or whatever. But uh, as far as all that shit, I don't get into that. I'm just, I'm a rapper. I'm a rapper now. So I only get into rap shit. So if the homies got some shit going on, that's them niggas. Niggas know j both stand on business, so. I don't really get any family niggas know. We good over here though. There ain't nothing going on on our camp. We Charlie, yeah. you on Bloods. We all and most good. of y'all are related, right? Yeah, we cousins. We brothers, cousins, all that. Okay. It's a lot of it's a lot of EBK. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a lot of we all rappers though. We not no gang. Not no gang. Yeah, we not no gang, bro. Music. Yeah, music. We rappers. EBK hot boys, but. Yeah, it's a lot of rappers. It's a lot of us. Was young was young slow be in EBK? Yeah, he was. Uh, he okay. was affiliated. What, what was y'all relationship like? You know, before before he passed, because I seen it was, you know, you feel me? It was, you know, everybody go through that shit when they fall out with niggas. You feel me? Slowby from my block, bro. That's that's the other homie, bro. I don't got nothing but love for that nigga. Like God said, you feel me? I mean, we wasn't fucking with it, but that was still my nigga. He know what it was. He was doing his thing. I was doing my thing. For me, it was shit just going on in our camp that we had to figure out. But it was figured out. But unfortunately, my brother, you feel me? He passed away. You feel me? I was down though when all that shit was happening though, bro. So niggas never got the chance to come back and double back and big it. But that nigga know what's up. We're real G members, so niggas know. So you know, bro. I don't need to be on pictures with him and songs with him and post this and that to know, bro. I really was in the hood with bro. He's a real reptable, bro. That nigga's a legend. R.P. Slubby, niggas know what's up. I'm gonna say yeah, I seen, I seen you got a lot of flack. A lot of fans was coming at you and upset with you for allegedly, allegedly sleeping with his girl or baby mom per se. And I'm only speaking on this because she spoke out on live. What she said? <laughs> I guess she said she, she, said she could do whatever she want to do. If if she would have died, he would have moved on that night. Right. What else she said? That's it. I mean, it was it was a long video. I didn't watch the whole thing, but she pretty much was like, she gonna do what she wanna do. Mind y'all business. Y'all don't know us. Y'all don't know the whole situation. <laughs> but the fans were kind of like, you know, like, damn, nigga, like, where's the loyalty at? Like, all the girls you got, uh, 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 Jay Bo, and you and you and you wanna touch and you want her. You sleeping with her? All the girls you got. So the fans was kind of like, you know. If Shlubby was here, he wouldn't care. Not to disrespect her or nothing either, you feel me? Because she cool. But she, you feel me? She, she live a different type of lifestyle. Like, that's not no regular bitch. Like, you feel me? Like, I understand if it was like, okay, you brother, baby mama, baby mama. Like, that's really yo. Like, that's really his bitch. Like, that's a cool, off limits. I wouldn't even look that way. But you, you feel me? Not to act like she didn't really fuck with Schlub because she, she be with him. But at the end of the day, that ain't no regular bitch. It's fair game. Hey. RP brother, I never disrespect my brother. That's my brother, dead homies. Got the up, 
utmost respect to brother to the maximum capacity. But at the end of the day, she live a lifestyle that's way different. So I'm for sure going to go get mine. It is what it is. Niggas know what niggas doing for Shlubby, bro. Niggas know niggas own that. And can't nobody tell me I'm not. Dead homie, so. It is what it is, bro. So I don't feel like that's disrespectful. And she'll say that out of her own mouth. Feel me? Yeah, so it, it was no slimy, no snake shit. Nah, of course not. I would never. Dead homies, you feel me? But the fans going to turn it into what they want to turn it in. And people going to say what they want to say. I am i don't feel like I'm wrong. That's all I got to say about it, though, bro. I don't honestly don't give a fuck, bro. I, I know what I'm on. You feel me? And I'm, I'm not no disrespectful nigga. I would never disrespect that nigga. I would never disrespect him with the woman that he really was with. I would never do that to her. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even look her way. And that's just how it is. But she, maybe she wasn't one of them. But I, you know, yeah. about, so But I do got to ask this though. After he passed, did she come on to you? Like, was it kind of like one of them things where like she been feeling you the whole time type of situation? I don't even. I can't even remember. I smoked so much weed, bro. I can't even remember back that far to how it happened, bro. But it happened, and you feel me? That's that. You feel me? I got my little cho. You feel me? RP slug. And that's it, bro. I don't even want to talk about that shit no more. I got you, man. Another thing yeah, too, man. fans they worry about not not even just you, but your peers. You know, your the fans. You know, they 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 get worried about y'all sometimes. You know, with the with the, I guess lean, the drug usage. Some I I don't know if it's the way you know maybe interviews they may see where y'all may be super high, but the fans do voice that they worry about you know y'all drug use y'all drug usage. Yeah. So what's up with that? <laughs> 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 what's up with that though like Southeast <laughs> I mean no bullshit we see artists we see artists die a lot and let's knock on wood cause I don't, I don't wanna put nothing on nobody but we do see artists die a lot for, for over you know overdosing lean yeah for sure uh, 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 perks pills Ooh, we see uh, it a lot I know a nigga ate the dust off of them bloods he's a goner dead nigga okay but nah, seriously though, like seriously, like <laughs> like with the with the drug uses though. Yeah, like what you want me like with what you asking me about it though, like. I mean, do you do do you you sip lean right? I mean, I do. I do a mixture of things. I smoke some weed. You feel me? I sip a little syrup here and there. I don't pop no pills no more though. I don't get into that. I gotta teach my son better. Yeah. Feel me? I don't pop pills. But you know how to keep it to a to where you can still function and and do your music and yeah, things like I'm that. Yeah, I'm doing music. I'm in the stew right now. After this interview, we finna go crazy. Jazz. Free how poopy. much do you think you 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 spend a month on just the weed and the the lean and, and things like that. A lot of money, bro. A lot. What's a lot? Like four thousand, five thousand? Hell no, nah, bro. How much we spending, bro? Dada. What do you say? How much we spending on Zai, lean? A month. What? Like, what's the monthly cost? You think? We buy weed like we buy gas and shit, like buy weed and shit, like we buy gas. We don't really sip syrup all the time, no, bro. We sip it on special occasions, like we sipping right now. It's, it's fake way a special occasion. The thugs here. So, niggas sipping, so. But, like, as far as Zai, niggas, I mean, you spend a little bands on some Zai for sure, bro. Niggas got to keep some weed, bro. But we smoke right. hella, though. We smoke, like. We smoke a lot of weed, bro. I can't put no price on it, bro. I don't want to throw no shit out there and be lying and shit, so I don't know. But we spend a lot on it, though, for sure. Yeah. Well, shit, man. What's what's the, you know, I I got a feeling you about to go crazy, man. I, the whole, that whole North Cali movement is different right now. Yeah. You see, what do you think it's going to take for it to get like Detroit? You see how Detroit, everybody's Detroit? together, getting money. 
it probably ain't gonna never be like that because niggas really politicking out here. They politicking too, though. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to say niggas ain't politicking, but it's really politics out here. Like, it's fucked up that it's like that, though. Like, this nigga Stockton fuck with these niggas out here out of town, and these niggas out of town fuck with them Bay Area, but them niggas fuck with these niggas. So it's like niggas can't never come together and be on no music shit because it's so politics. So much politics, nigga get smoked or something. So we over here with it. We ain't fucking with work. You feel me? There's a few rappers I fuck with, though. You niggas know who y'all is. You feel me? The niggas I follow, bro. I don't follow no rappers I don't fuck with. You feel me? So. Man, rest in peace to Briss, too. What was y'all relationship like? I mean, you feel me? He ain't my dad, homie, but I seen him in the hood a few times. You feel me? He was on the G with it, 7th Street, my block. You feel me? He was on my block a few times, bro. Uh. He cool, nigga, you feel me, bro? RP, bro. I can't, I can't say he my dad, homie, or share no feelings about him, but I, I done been around him a few times, though. You feel me? He, he, he the homie, dead homie. So, you feel me? If the homie on that for him, that's what niggas on. Period. Yeah. That's what niggas on. You think y'all would have made some fire music together? Yeah, we probably would have made some better. We done been in the studio and could have made songs together, but you know, I ain't no dick right, nigga. I ain't finna make no song with the nigga just cause he brisk. We chillin', nigga, we smoking regular. Mm-hmm. You know, only times I've been around blood though, you feel me, then RP, you feel me, rest in peace. But yeah. other than that, that's that. When you when you came home, I mean, what your DMs look like? A lot of girls in your DMs? There's some hoes in there. <laughs> <laughs> some thoughts. You, I mean, what, what what you do when you get out? The first day you got out, what you go do? The fuck we do? Nothing? You drank up some Bel Air. Then we go to the studio, brother? I went to sleep. <laughs> what? Southeast. Drank some Bel Air, went to sleep. Like, fuck it, enjoying life. I was just enjoying being out. Feel me? Nigga took a real shower, nigga, and went to sleep, nigga, on the set. Nigga just was happy to be out, bro. Niggas, it's a lot of niggas in there that don't get the chance to go home, bro. So I'm grateful, bro. Mm. That, that six months in, in jail, was you writing? Yeah, I wrote a few songs. Some of those are the ones you in the, you recording right now? Nah, I've been knocked them out the way. Them over with. Nigga damn man. on a whole different EP hell shit right now. Yeah. Nigga make music. I mean, do, do you have a release record right now that you think is a hit? Mm, Mr. EBK, The Apocalypse. One of them two. Mr. EBK or The Apocalypse. Oh, and Had Enough. Yeah, that's a rattle. Go slap that. I like all, now, I like do you all have my any songs, unreleased, though, unreleased music that right now that you think going to take over? Mm, I got a song called... Uh, Still in slubby mode. And then I got a song called uh, Out on Bill. That's a rattle. I got some hits, bro. On Bloods. Man, most deaf, man. Hey. Uh, is there anything you want to let off your chest, though, man? You you fresh home, man. Talk to me, man. Man, I'm just is a it- Southeast nigga, bro. You feel me, bro? I'm just, you feel me? I'm just here to... I'm just here to do what a lot of niggas ain't get the chance to do, P, you feel me? I ain't on nothing else, bro, I ain't, you feel me? My music, I might promote a little violence here and there, but I'm a good guy, you feel me? I just stay in the song shit niggas done been through. What's your message to the youth? Because a lot of kids look up to you. I know the kids look up to me, bro. I'm finna start making a little more, some positive songs, but still some bangers that they could get jiggy to, of course, though, but... Make some more positive songs for the youth so they can stay in school. For me, you could be a rapper like me, but you ain't got to come from the past I come from just to be a rapper. You feel me? You could be the same nigga I am today just without the past. So if you're a youth, you want to rap because I'm rapping, rap, but just be a rapper. You ain't got to be a gangster. You can still rap about all the shit because the fans don't know the difference right now because this nigga's in the industry that's poo butts, but niggas think them niggas hard. So nigga, fuck it. Do it. Get, get your chicken. But you feel yeah. me though, but you feel me or play football or something, you feel me? It's hella shit to do out there, nigga. It's different roles for niggas to play, you feel me, Southeast. 
Yeah. So yeah, everybody sure. don't got to be in the streets. Hell no, nah, bro. The streets ain't, you feel me? That shit ain't tight, bro. That's just regular where niggas come from. Niggas in the streets, okay, that's cool, but it's more than that shit, bro. Niggas ain't in the streets just because, oh, brother, come on, we in the streets today. Nah, niggas just was studying, and that's where niggas came from. Niggas trying to make it out that shit. That's the goal, nigga. Ain't the goal ain't to stay in the streets and look hella dumb. Nigga, we gone. Fuck the streets. It's more, it's more than the hood. It's more than that shit, nigga. I'm trying to go to Miami, Atlanta. What? Where? What? Thick shit. Tell this shit. Niggas can be doing, bro. Fuck the hood. What do you think is keeping the West Coast from being regional? And what it's I mean by that Coast. is, like That's I told you. Before the interview, that's where we at. People, people know you outside of the West Coast, but it's just one of them things to where a lot of West Coast music it gets to Arizona, it gets to Vegas, but it doesn't really break in Atlanta. It doesn't break in New York. What's holding the West Coast back? Is it the politics? Is it the sound? Uh, I don't know, honestly, bro. My my shit doing cool, bro. I feel like it could be doing better. But you know, sometimes niggas just get blackballed. But it's gonna it's gonna be everybody chance to you feel me break through that door, bro. It's only a few doors. We we threw them few. It's just a couple more to get through, and we gonna be in there. And niggas ain't gonna be able to sleep on the West Coast. But it, it is what it is, bro. It, it be like that. Niggas gonna get in there. It's gonna be that one nigga to get in there, and then it's gonna be good for everybody else. For me, I'm trying to be my nigga to get in there though. But I ain't really worried about all the rap shit and the fame shit. I'm just trying to get in there though. Feel me? It show my niggas like, bro, like we can really do this shit. Nigga, everybody gonna be getting rapper bag. We finna come fuck over the game, bro. We finna come get ours, all ours, bro. We all need chains and Bentleys and shit too. On bloods. Yeah. When you get that first big check, uh, what do you plan to do with it? <sighs> I'm a um. I'm gonna go buy my son some clothes, bro. I'm gonna go buy my son some clothes, bro. That's real. That's what I'm gonna do, bro. It's a lot of other shit. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of it's a lot of other shit I want to do, though. You feel me? Nigga ain't gonna get into that, but I'm gonna for sure go buy my son some clothes. You feel me? That's what we're gonna do. We gotta go get him dripped. Some baby designer, or some shit. You feel me? Get him right. But other than that, I'm Charlie right now. I don't really need nothing. No load or something regular. I mean, over here in PS5 or uh, regular. No. Anyway. Have you uh, have you ever worked a nine to five before? Mm -mm. Never worked a job. Never. I would never. I don't knock nobody doing it though. You feel me? Get your chicken. However you gotta get it. I respect it. On oh, my mama, get yours. But that was never me though. Not even as a team, never, never. Fuck no. Grocery bagging, the grocery uh, carts, no, nothing, none of that. Fuck no, going to no job in the field. Is, is it because the money's too slow? Nah, niggas was in the field, niggas wasn't worried about, I don't know bro, you know, niggas be having these urban book lifestyles, like oh, I got this much show when I was this age and I had 100 bands. I wasn't on that, I was trying to go, cream something when I was a young nigga. So like, I didn't want no money. I'm gonna keep that shit a dollar. I started getting money when I was like, for like 17. I had a band when I was 15 or something, a thousand dollars. Other than that, when I was a young nigga, I'm trying to get no money. I'm trying to what? I'm wearing a black beanie every day. I don't worry about a no black money. beanie. Yeah, nigga didn't worry about no money, bro. Niggas is on a bag hype now though. Them the old days, but nah, niggas wasn't worrying about no money back then. Were you ever in any near death situations? Nah, I don't get into those. That's good. Mm -hmm. In a place like Stockton, that's good. Yeah, no niggas. But I mean, like yeah. a black beanie every day, looking, looking to get into something. Sometimes shit happens. Yeah, bro. You feel me? I'll be out south, though, with the thugs. You feel me? We in the valley with it, niggas. No. We in the valley. Niggas ain't coming through here. Niggas, don't, niggas ain't never came through. I promise you. 
That's, that's just not, not even on no rap songs. Trying to act hard. Niggas never came through there, though. Niggas know better. What's wrong with them niggas, bro? Wish them niggas would do some dumb ass shit like that. <laughs> try to come through there. <laughs> you niggas crazy. Not even trying to act donkey. Not coming through there, though, for sure. Them niggas doing nerd shit, bro, out the way, bro. Yeah. What's the artist that you want to work with? Uh, Meek Mill, for sure. That's it, though. Like, other than that, it's not no niggas out there. Niggas, I fuck with, I fuck with, bro. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to boozy or nothing. It's niggas that rap I fuck with, but as far as artists, nigga, nigga, Meek Mill, he the only nigga that's donkey to me. You feel me? Other than that, I don't really want to know me some other niggas. Chilling. My own. Damn, that's it. Just Meek Mill. Yeah, just Meek. He hard. That'd be, that'd be tough. Yeah. 